Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we are looking at volume today. We're going to talk about what volume is, calculate the volume of a rectangular prism, and then we're going to practice a little bit. So first off, what is volume? Volume is, in sort of common terms, it's how much stuff you can fit inside of something, inside of a, a three-dimensional solid. So because it's something that you fit inside of another something, it's measured in three dimensions, and we often measure them in three-dimensional cubes. For example, this would be, if it's one inch by one inch by one inch, we would call that a cubic inch. So it's a little square that's one inch by one inch by one inch. Now the way that we calculate volume kind of looks like this. If I had this larger cube and I asked myself how many of the smaller cubes can fit inside this and then I'd start kind of placing the, the smaller cubes inside there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight <clears throat> cubic inches inside of this larger cube. And that's the basics of volume. How many cubes can fit inside of other objects? Not always cubes, but different objects. Any three-dimensional solid, we say how many cubic inches or cubic centimeters, cubic feet, um, can we fit inside of that? So it's measured in three dimensions. It's measured in cubic um, units, whatever the unit is of measurement is. And it is it's like that. All right. <clears throat> Let's talk about one shape specifically. This polyhedron is called a rectangular prism. A rectangular prism is like this. It has rectangles on the sides of the figure. At least two of the sides are rectangular um, that are opposite each other, which makes basically all of the sides either rectangular or um, it could be a square on the end. Um, but they're going to look like this. This is a rectangular prism. And all of the angle measurements are 90 degrees. That's kind of a given with rectangular prisms. So what a rectangular prism, when we're trying to calculate the volume, we would use this equation. The volume is equal to the length times the width times the height. Where this is the length, this is the width, and this is the height. Now if you forget which one is length and which one is width and which one is height, it doesn't matter because you can really turn this on end and then it would change all of them. And because we're multiplying, it doesn't matter what order you do them in. So all you have to remember is that the different uh, measurements you're given, you're multiplying them all together. So let's do one quick here um, example of calculating the volume of this rectangular prism when you're given three measurements. This um, five centimeters is our length, two centimeters is our width, one centimeter is our height. So our volume is the length times the width times the height. And I would write that out as five times two times one and calculate that as being 10 cubic centimeters. All right, it's also easy to remember cubic centimeters. If we look that it's centimeter times centimeter times centimeter, and there's gonna be a three up top. All right, that's a quick way to remember that. Um, but again, if you change the order of the length, width, and height, it would not matter. You're just multiplying the three numbers together to get your volume. Now that I've shown you, it's time for practice. I'd like you to go ahead and pause the recording. Try and find the volume of this rectangular prism. Go ahead and calculate the volume using the equation. I'll even give you the equation this time. All right, were you able to successfully multiply 7 times 2 times 2 and get 28 cubic centimeters? 7 times 2 is 14. 14 times 2 is 28. 28 cubic centimeters will be the volume of this rectangular prism. Let's try another one. Go ahead and calculate the volume. This time I'm not giving you the equation. Go ahead and pause the recording and try and calculate the volume of this yellow rectangular prism. And you're back. Here's the equation. Length times width times height. 6 times 3 times 2. Do you get 32 cubic centimeters? I hope not because that answer is wrong. All right, I did that on purpose to throw you off in case you were just like dozing off or something. What did you get when you multiplied those together? Hopefully it was not 32 <laughs> cubic centimeters. But, whoa, but 36 cubic centimeters. That's what we were looking for. All right, you've got to... You gotta stay on your toes in this class. All right.
So a quick recap, we talked about what volume is, what it looks like, um, how to calculate the volume of a rectangular prism, and then we did a couple of practice questions. Hope that that was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.